Hello, I'm Joanne Myers, Director of Public Affairs Program. For almost 100 years now, the Carnegie Council has been the premier voice for ethics and international affairs. This month begins our annual fund drive. We hope you will consider to donate and donate generously so you can continue to watch these videos. Thank you for keeping the voices of ethics alive. By the year 2050, most demographers think that by about 2050 there'll be 9 billion people on Earth, and the population will peak round about there and, and then start falling. But this is you know, significantly more people than there are now, and these pressures are going to grow and grow. And these are the sort of pressures that have come up again and again in the past. You know, population pressure is always a bottleneck. Um, when you confront these sorts of pressures, Either societies find ways to deal with these pressures or they don't, which is a very simple and very obvious um, thing to say. Either we will find a way to transcend the, uh, the limits of the material resources or we won't. And I think there are, there are signs that we are in the process of finding ways around some of these issues. I mean, food supply is another similar kind of thing. Um, People are developing new kinds of materials, finding ways to change existing materials so they behave differently. Um, I, th I mean, I'm reasonably optimistic that that sort of material constraint is not going to prove decisive. Uh, although, again, as has repeatedly happened in the past, bottlenecks um, in supply of raw materials can have a hugely destabilizing effect in what's going on. I mean, again, uh, you think, say, particularly of uh, mid 20th century, uh, 1930s Germany, um, where concern about access to materials, and again, in Japan, of course, even more so in the early 40s, concern about access to materials can drive people to do some really, really crazy things. So, yeah, I mean, this, I, I talk about these issues quite a bit in the book because it seems to me these are the sort of things where, um, you know, this rather casual phrase that I used about the need to sort of manage these shifts that are driven by very deep forces which are largely beyond our control. Management, I mean, this is an enormous thing. The ability to manage the challenges that arise from um, running low on raw materials, finding that the raw materials are, are in parts of the world where people can't get to them. This is an enormous challenge.